Hello friends, how are you? In this video tutorial, I will guide you, guide you how to install you, uh, how to install Zapix version 7.0.5 on Ubuntu 24.0.4. Right? I have a Vima machine on EXI. Its IP address is 192.168.10.58. Let me log in it via SSH. You can see that my Ubuntu machine uh, has version of 24.0.4. Okay. I will go with root user, right? So in this particular VM of Ubuntu, I will install Zapix version 7.0.5. In the in the previous video, I had already installed the 7.0.3 version on Ubuntu uh, 2. 2.0 uh, machine so right now i have installed the the, the latest version of, of zapix on latest version of uh, ubuntu right so you need nothing just follow follow the my guide okay i have created a step by step guide for you guys okay so you don't worry you just need to copy and paste first of all we will uh, download the package the apex package uh, before doing that you need to update your server apt update and then apt wait so make sure your server is fully updated before starting the, this guide It will take some time depending upon your internet speed. So, okay, uh, let's type our first command wget. Okay, this is the uh, repository. Uh, let's try to install it. The repository has been successfully installed. Next, we will need to add it the add it the list repository list. Here, you need to copy the image, copy the text. and paste like that okay save next update sorry okay it's giving me error Let's skip this step. Just skip this step. Just skip this step, and we will go next. Okay, we will skip this, skip this step for the time being. Okay, okay, and next we will install the Zabbix server front end. Okay, this is giving me error on G124.0.4. So I have a solution for this. If you fail, if you uh, appear the server uh, error, you need to do these things. First, 
first type this command and then type this add repository and lastly install this repository so i have mentioned these step in over in my in my guide okay So next you need to uh, reinstall the Zabbix package. Hit under the command this time. It will ask you the installation of Zabbix and his agent. Right? First we have to uh, give this command. Okay. And when I give we give this command, the error has been appeared. And after that we will follow the two steps. This one. And after that, we have installed the repository with the help of this command, right? Now the installation has been started. Next, we will install the MySQL server. It will it will take a little bit of time depending upon your internet speed. So I uh, I skip skip this step you don't need to add this curve just skip it okay and and that's it okay this process is, has been started okay it's now 85 percent Okay, next you need to install the MySQL server with the help of this command. You can install MySQL server. After that, you need to start the services of MySQL and enable it on the time of boot. Okay, the installation now start the MySQL server and and enable it. Okay, Let's check the status of MySQL server, it's running, right? So next you need to create MySQL server database. So okay, you need to log in it, right? First you need to create a give this command. We are going to create the database. Next. Here you need to type your password. I'm just give, giving the demo because it's a demo uh, video, so that's why I'm putting this password. Okay. You need to type full command like this. 
right and exit that's it next you need to import the initial schema in database with the help of this command enter enter the root password of mysql it will take some time it's importing the the sql into our sql server into our database the initial import is successful and now you need to go log in again into mysql server and type this command and hit exit okay next you need to edit the configuration of Zabbix server cron file and find the database password so you need to find slash paste hit enter and here you can see that it's a database password so in my case the database password is to tw.r2 username is zabbix and database name is also zabbix right so i have mentioned already you can see that here the database is zabbix and database user is zabbix and password is that i already told you so save save the settings okay next restart the services of Zabbix okay now enable it the services of Zabbix so enable it on the time of voting and uh, lastly you need to check the status of the services now the services has been running you just need to now put the IP address. So what is the IP address of our server is? Our server IP address is 10.58. You can see that with the command. You can see that this is our IP. Now you need to go to the browser IP slash Zabbix and hit it. Yes, welcome to the Zabbix 7.0. Click next. You can see that all the required repository has been successfully installed. Everything is okay now. Next, you need you need to just give the Zabbix password here, database password, which our case is T W O R. Okay, user database user is Zabbix user is zabbix and password is twr and click next here you need to die, give your zabbix server name along your time zone here you need to select your time zone accordingly okay you, you, you can select the default theme click next next step you have successfully installed and it finished. So the default username is A. A is capital. You need to type A is cap A is capital. Next, Z Zapix Z A double B I X and hit enter. Right. Default Zapix username and password is uh at one a is capital and password is this alex right you can see that we have installed zapix 
is the 7.0.5 on over Ubuntu on over Ubuntu server, right? So you can see you can so that's all right so that way you can easily install your Zapix server on your latest Ubuntu 24 so I will attach this guide with, with this video you can download it from it right thank you thank you for watching thank you